Kimbo Slice versus Dada 5000. This fight's very personal for both guys. You're talking about years and years of trash talk in the streets of Miami. It's all about egos. It's all about bragging rights. These guys don't like each other. The problem a street fighter has going to MMA is it's not a street fight. A street fight lasts 30 seconds. The guy is not trained. In a street fight, emotions fuel you. You start a little bit faster. It makes that adrenaline. Your blood start curling when you're warming up. You start feeling your muscles tighten. Your hair starts standing on its end. It's like throwing gunpowder into a fire. It blows up, but it's only for a second. These guys are gonna shoot out of a cannon because they hate each other so much. Years of anticipation for one moment. Those emotions will eat you up. They'll burn right through you. They will take all your energy. They'll take all your technique. Kimbo Slice is a little bit more technical when it comes to the ground game just because he's had more experience in MMA, but he's not a guy that likes to fight there. Kimbo's been here before. He's fought in mixed martial arts fights. Dada 5000 is, for all intents and purposes, making his mixed martial arts debut against Kimbo Slice. And what he has to do is forget the damn street. Dada 5000, who's a guy who has a lot of power. Kimbo might have to rely on his wrestling, on his jujitsu. Dada is gonna do his thing. He's gonna come out and he's gonna try and bang. If he lands a punch, Kimbo will go down. You can't let emotions govern the way you fight a professional fight. You have to leave your emotions outside of the cage. You have to focus on what you've done to get ready to be there. Not about how much you hate that guy. Kimbo's gotta be more diverse. He's gotta use all of his tools if he wants to come out with those bragging rights this fight. I've never seen a fighter have a better performance because of hatred. You don't take that extra punch and get up and find the fire to keep going because you're mad at your opponent. They're gonna settle the beef. They're gonna find out who's top dog and we're gonna to get to see it in the Bellator cage. Forget the beef, forget the talk. None of that goes into the cage with you. It's not about what you bring into a cage emotionally, it's about what you leave behind.